Rockers fans, how's it going? Travis Alonix here, Monday morning, September 39, 15 a.m. Talking Rockers football. You know, I said after the game, Friday night was, what, 1.30 in the morning. Um, I got home, raw thoughts there. And uh, you guys can watch that, watch that video, see my raw thoughts of the game and what I had to say after I got home. But now had dusk, dusk has settled, you know, went through the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Now Monday morning, new week, Rutgers 4-0. Heading into Nebraska season this coming Saturday. We got we got votes uh in the polls, did not get ranked. I think we're like 34th, something. Uh we've got some votes, but not ranked yet. Indiana's 5-0, they're 24. UNLV got ranked 25. Like just gotta keep shopping. You gotta keep shopping again. You do what you you do, you, you put the work in, you keep winning. The rankings with all that kind of stuff will take care of itself. But um, yeah, four and on that one and on in the big ten. And they're just a statement, big time, much needed win at home versus Washington Huskies. National runner up, national televised game at home, place rocket, an insane atmosphere with all the production, uh, the great production job by PJ Mullen and his staff, uh, the crowd that showed out and stayed the whole time. Just, just amazing night, game, win, atmosphere, everything combined was awesome. And getting that win topped it off. All these night games, last couple of years, in 2022, had all those night games. Uh, couldn't get a W in any of them um, through the years. Blown out, blowouts, close losses, you name it. And then uh, finally able to come through and get a huge uh, night win. Get the really good Washington team. Again, not ranked. Yeah, we were about 50-50. Um, ready, like, uh, prediction-wise to win the game. We were two-point favorite. But it was a dead-even game. Real good team. We're a real good team, and uh, we came out victorious. Moving forward, you know, everything is on the table right now. Everything. 4-0, going into Nebraska. Nebraska was on the road in Lincoln. Real tough, 4 o'clock, FS1. Obviously, uh, tough, tough environment to play. We did one in Blacksburg, go out, go out to Lincoln, play that game. Hey, give it all. We're 4-0. They're, uh, they're like 4-1. and one. See what happens. Uh, roll the dice. Give it all out there. And see uh, what uh, how the chips how the chips how the chips fall. Then we come home, Wisconsin, UCLA at home, two very winnable games there. We go out to California, which I'm going to that game. Rutgers USC. Then come home after their second bye week, home to play Minnesota. Uh, then at Maryland, home Illinois, uh, at Michigan State. End it. Everything's right there. Take it one game at a time. Uh, chance special season is still right there on the table as we're undefeated. Got through. Uh, Blacksburg, Virginia Tech, and beating Washington put up conference play. Offensively, we can do uh, so many things. The way Ethan has played, controlling the offense, making big time throws. The, the key to that game was third down convergence. We were seven, seven, for, seven for 15, excuse me. I believe they were two for 12. The Huskies, money, he made some big time throws, stayed in the pocket, uh, made the throws of his arm. A couple, uh, I think he ran for a couple first downs as well. It's just so huge, so huge difference from last year. It's really astronomical between him and Gavin in the passing game. And then you add in what common on guys still doing, did it last year and doing it this year in his offense with AZ and a quarterback. You know, Lions playing great, but better. I think uh, this past week, Aiden didn't get hit that much out of it all. Kyle, the runs he had, we still got a healthy Sam Brown, a couple of good runs. They didn't have that many carries, but obviously had a huge touchdown. Ended up being a game-winning touchdown. Ian Strong, touchdown catch. Chris Long, couple big plays. Duff had a catch, but nice catch, big drop. But, you know, he's getting better and better. Um, he'll make those plays, more plays uh, as the season goes on. He's going to be a great star receiver for us. Kenny Fletcher. Drummond hasn't had a catch yet, but I did see a uh, you know, passing on a uh, – on Twitter, point out on a very nice same jailbreak screen again on Friday night. And Dremel's right there blocking, greatly blocking, chopping his feet the whole way. So little things Dremel is still doing with the offense. And obviously he's a punt returner. The defense, you know, has it been great? No, but the bend but don't break. He'll have 500 yards, but it's 18 points. Allowed him to get some big chunk plays, go down the field, but held in the red zone, which that was a key too. Third down defense, red zone defense. It's money, money for Rutgers. It's good to see. You want to see him tackle a bit better. Obviously, not allowed that many yards, but at the end of the day, um, and if you get to win and only allow 18 points, 
pretty good stuff there. Some more turnovers would be nice and everything. All in all, at least there's a lot to improve. And like Greg was saying, he didn't look that happy. The picture's floating around. Satisfied with the win? Oh, fuck yeah. All right, happy. Yes, but never satisfied how we were playing and just watching the game, being there. I didn't even see much of it. Uh, ran back yet. Plenty of areas to improve, especially on the defense and the whole team as well, though. But it's good at defense. They played well, but it's still a lot more room to improve, which is always good. Always good to get better. D-line's got to get more pressure. Rodgers was a very, obviously, non-mobile quarterback, very accurate passer, um, do better in the run game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Longer Beam was kind of battling, like, started the start of the game injuries, but he battled the whole game out there. I think he stayed in, was not 100% at all. Felter went out, but I heard he came back in the game. Oh, it's rough. But, so, I think we escaped without any major injuries. Um but, yeah, I mean, it's right there. We played, didn't turn the ball over ourselves. We are disciplined, disciplined uh, game for us on too many penalties. They had a couple personal fouls, the, the huge legal substitution penalty on their two freshmen. Special teams, Jay, that blocked. Uh, it was a clean block. The penalty was on, the, obviously, the guy right on the field. So, we had to clean that up. We had a couple missed kicks last week. The block there. But uh, punt game is a really good return game I'm just kind of calling fair catches not really running much back but uh that's been clean Jacob Anderson doing a good job punting and yeah I mean you stay disciplined team you get better each week you know, you're four games in Greg so now you, get, now you have a kind of idea on kind of what your team is how they are how they are four games you get a good idea and like I said we avoided you can avoid any uh major injuries besides obviously motor race about for the year so far after these four games so yeah, I mean, keep chopping away. I mean, one game at a time, but let's get amped up, you know, for this game in Lincoln, wherever you're at. Uh, tell your friends, family, strangers this whole week, people you see out there, your day-to-day lives. Tell them about Rutgers, Rutgers football, the 4-0, huge game in Lincoln versus Nebraska on Saturday. And then buy your tickets up for Wisconsin to Scarlet out two weeks, October 12th. No time yet announced for that game, but – should be an amazing atmosphere. I mean, the season as it goes on, Big Ten games going to be packed just like Washington was, and it should be. Should be sellouts every single game. Let's make it happen, and let's go. Keep chopping. You know what? doesn't matter. We're dogs in Lincoln, not ranked. doesn't matter. Keep chopping away. It will take care of itself. Let's go. Greg Schiano has got this place. Rutgers football totally in the right direction. Going up, up, up. It's got to keep climbing. Keep climbing, keep chopping. That's all I got today. It's Monday morning. Let's go. Rutgers and Nebraska preview will be out a couple of days right now. Enjoy it this Monday. Rutgers 4-0. Let's go. Go Rutgers!